what's up guys welcome to the youtube channel i've been holding off on doing the birth story video and since i'm so busy um i wanted to also incorporate some type of like cleaning or something to the video so that i can get things done at the same time as doing a video so two birds one stone the twins are asleep behind me um i think so yep the twins are asleep behind me and i'm gonna fold their all right so to begin i almost woke up there to begin i forget where i left off with the like emergency i don't even know okay so in my last video explaining the fetal surgery and that stuff basically so just to recap if you didn't watch the video i'll link it in the description below of course but just to recap the twins um had well i had fetal surgery at 24 weeks gestation um to separate their connections because of twin to twin transfusion um and to give them a better fighting chance after the surgery they you stay for a day in the hospital to kind of monitor you and then they do a ultrasound to make sure both babies have heartbeats and everything is fine so they did that i went home on bed rest for you had to stay on bed rest like complete bed rest i can only get off the bed to shower for 15 minutes and to go to the bathroom that's it um so i stayed on bed rest for a week and then i went to i had to go back to the hospital to do a follow-up visit to make sure that the twins still had heartbeats so i continued on with like my regular weekly ultrasounds where they did everything there so when i got there it was fine this is the day that i gave birth by the way so when i got there everything was fine the ultrasound tech did she started her ultrasound process and towards the end of the process they always started with trey because trey was i guess the healthier twin so and the easier one so they always started with trey so they did Trey scan everything looked fine and then they did jeremiah scan which they were always silent about because he was small and they weren't the texts are not able to tell you like this is what's going on like you have to wait for the doctor so i noticed that she kept going over jeremiah's sack and she left the room she's just gonna go get the doctor she left the room and i told my mom they're gonna admit me i know that they're gonna admit me like i couldn't i could feel it i knew something was wrong so this is like a thing for me i guess it's motherly instinct i knew something was wrong so they the doctor came in and she said baby b who's jeremiah has blood in his sack so we think that you're having a your placenta is also flapping off so you're having a placenta abruption so we're going to admit you to the hospital and um we're going to admit you to the hospital until you give birth which was fine i already knew that that was coming and i was 25 weeks and three days at this point so they did that she said you need to go get an echo for those of you don't that don't know an echo is just an ultrasound of the heart to make sure that their hearts were functioning um there's so many pockets to the story so i'm going to try to like fill it in but not give away for another video that i'm going to do on twin to twin transfusion and how it affects children so or babies so basically they sent me to go get the echo for both the twins and they just monitor all the waves every part of the heart to make sure that everything is functioning i personally think that had i not gotten that echo because they have to press against your stomach to get the images and it they pressed really hard i think that had i not gotten that i probably would have lasted a little while longer but i digress so i got the echo and at this point everything was fine heartbeats was fine i went back i got admitted to the room everything was fine babies you can hear the babies 
wasn't having any contractions or anything. We, I kept asking the doctor, can I eat, can I eat, can I eat, can I eat, can I eat? And then she finally came in like 30 minutes, no, like an hour after we were there. and was like, I'm not even folding clothes. I'm all into this. And was like, you can eat. So I was ordering my food and then the neonatologists were coming up to, um, to just discuss like what are your options, what a baby looks like, eight, 25 weeks, uh, as far as their health and what to expect at each week. When the neonatologist came in at that point, I just felt weird. As they were talking, my body felt like, I don't even know how to explain it, like it was fuzzy. And I started, I remember like spinning around in circles and then like I just don't feel well I don't feel well like I don't feel well so they call the, the OBGYN she comes in and she basically she's like call anesthesiology like the anesthesiologist because we're going to the OR now and I'm screaming because at this point Jeremiah was only weighing on the ultrasound he was only weighing just below a pound which I was told by the neonatologist in order for them to intubate a baby, they have to be at least a pound. So I'm like, I don't want this. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. They took me down anyway. And then the C-section. Thank God. Um, basically what had happened was I had a full on, on placenta abruption. A placenta abruption is when your uterus, not your uterus, your placenta completely detaches from the uterine wall. When that happens, the babies aren't getting oxygenation. Obviously, it was stuck there, so you're bleeding out. I was bleeding internally. Usually, with a placenta abruption, you would bleed out vaginally. TMI, I know, but you would bleed out vaginally. That wasn't the case for me. So, I was just bleeding internally. I don't know for how long. I know that I got three liters of blood after giving birth. So, yeah in total i believe the c-section was about 30 minutes they came out at 2 253 and 254 p.m trey was first jeremiah was second and i was out they had to put me under they put me under general anesthesia because i didn't have time to get an epidural or anything and no one can go back with you so the entire time i'm screaming like no i want my mom to come but no one can come back with you when you're completely under so i remember them like holding me down because i guess i was freaking out somebody putting like you know the oxygen mask over my face and then i could feel it was such a out of body experience i could i could hear everybody around me i can see them but everything was like going in slow motion so yeah it's jeremiah's alarm so that happened the twins were born and i didn't get to see them they said that jeremiah um no it was a jeremiah yes jeremiah p as soon as he came out neither one of them cried but they took them right to the NICU Jeremiah was one pound and one ounce and Trey was two pounds even the OBGYN told me that had she not taken me back and given me a c-section I would have bled out all three of us would have died and I can vividly remember the other doctor that was in there saying let's just try to calm her down and the OBGYN that delivered me saying no she needs to go to the OR now like she saved all three of us I will be forever grateful to her I won't say any names or the hospital that I was at obviously for privacy reasons but I will forever be grateful for her coming in taking action and doing what needed to be done a lot of people a lot of doctors in general don't i feel like they don't care but that's that's a whole nother story so uh -oh. if you like this kind of content make sure you hit the subscribe button leave me a comment like and share with your friends and i'll see you guys next time